all. I, I wasn't going to mention your weight, but you've lost even more. Well... I thought you sort of stopped, but spelt beyond spelt. Oh, you are kind, yes. Well, you know, I lost 21 stone a year ago. Wow. Which is too yes. much. Yes. Yeah. It's amazing. It's well, yeah. well done. Yeah. Would you have a leg off or something? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, uh, you've just come back and travelled. Yes. Where yes. have you been? Well, I, I was in America. Uh, um, the BAFTA uh, uh, have, have an American have an American arm, and they do they do an award ceremony. So I was doing that. Plus, I did a show called Bones, which is a, an American. Uh... Oh, why? Thank you. You are kind. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> no idea what it is. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> But I have, I have a sort of returning character on that, which is, um, yeah. Phil's been travelling too, not quite as glamorously. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you, were you in Dublin? Dublin yeah. In Dublin, yes, I was. That's glamorous? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! We love everything on this show. <laughs> Bones, <laughs> Dublin, it doesn't Dublin. matter what it is. Magnus, hey! hey. Woo. I'm just glad to be out. <laughs> <laughs> not in that, in that way. No. Uh, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that's I that's why you're on the show. <laughs> well, it yeah. seemed, it's <laughs> inappropriate. <laughs> uh, Stephen Fry, you, you amaze me. You Ooh. do, no, you're like a sort of Gordon Ramsay figure in my oh, world. Oh, thanks. Well, no, but you don't, <laughs> sorry. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you are so... I don't know if... You, do you feel busy? You oh. seem incredible. Incredibly busy. I, I, I pack a lot into the day. I suppose that is true. Yes. Um, but you do dramas, travel documentaries, yeah. books, time-consuming yes, stuff. Yes. Yes. I'm. I, I, people seem surprised by it, but I think it, it is only because I'm hungry for it. If, if you are, if you are anxious and keen to do things, you you do it. When people say there aren't enough hours in the day, mm. it's never true. Yeah. yeah. No, you have. To, no, you do have. You see. You have one of those brains that just absorbs things quite easily and retains them. Uh, I tell you, though, uh, uh, there are all kinds of things that everybody in this room knows that I'm completely ignorant of. This happened to me on, uh, uh, by the journalist the other day. They, they said, so what, what do you think about Katie Price? I said, I don't know who she is. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I really don't. I, when... When he said Jordan, I did know. I did yeah. know there was a woman called Jordan. I'd heard of her. I didn't know. I don't know who she is. But th that's the sort of ignorance that makes you seem even clever. Oh, so no. <laughs> <laughs> but as a callow youth, as a callow youth yourself, yeah. um, famously you were quite wild in, in school and got expelled of things. Yes. And, but you'd expect to be, because Bill, you were a bit of a You're swat a in school. Student, weren't you? I was, yes, for many years. I, I was a swat. You were good at everything. Yeah, I, it, I found it quite easy. It came quite easily, you know, there's this affinity for languages and studying, and I just didn't really take it seriously. And you had quite a kind of a juvenile obsession with drugs and things that could get you high. Yeah, well, that's right. There was always this myth that if you smoked nutmeg, you know, <laughs> that you could, you could somehow get some sort of trip, some hallucinant <laughs> trip. Yeah. So I got all the nutmeg out of the spice rack in the kitchen <laughs> and sort of put it into some cigarette papers. <laughs> <laughs> all I had, I just got a rather sweet breath for several days. <laughs> and then the other thing was dry banana skin. Yes. There was this sort of... This oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah! Oh. <laughs> This, it was a ludicrous myth. There is nothing on this earth like, no. I, I, they're now called in-betweeners, you know, that sort of aged person, when they solemnly go, apparently, and you can lean forward to go, apparently, and I heard, this is what I heard, apparently, if you take the wax from a dog's ear, right, and you put it on, like, an argo lid or an iron, and you warm it up, and you breathe in the fumes, it's like the most <laughs> amazing high. <Yeah. laughs> apparently, apparently, you know, yeah. apparently. And so you do it, and then, yeah. now, <laughs> Is it true, that you, right, is it true right. that you know all the Just lines? Just about every line. From I believe in America, I love America, yeah. And you're not a wartime conciliary, Tom. Yeah. You're out, Tom. Oh. Rid of that. He's still alive, <laughs> we hit him with six I shots. And he's <laughs> still alive. Well, it's bad luck for you and it's bad luck for Sonny if you don't make that deal tonight. It's Sorry. Bad. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I What's so great is um, the Tom Hagen. The Tom Hagen character is actually really wonderful because because he, he you're ta he's taken in by the Corleone family. Yeah, but but I can't. As the actor, I couldn't step over, and as the character, yeah. he couldn't step. He'd never really be a member of the family. No, that's right. That was the, never really. You know. And you're always fighting and saying, "So you can't just kill a man like that." And <laughs> Al Pacino says, "If history teaches us one thing, it's that anyone, anyone could be killed." Yeah, nice. yeah, well, that's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really.
cheered us up on Friday night. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. After a hard week, yeah. I'll just settle down and watch the Graham Norton show. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Listen, Stephen Fry, sir. Mm. Uh, new oh, book dear. out. It's, this is yeah. this is part three of yes. the unfolding autobiography. Yeah. But we're still not up to now. Aren't no, we? I fear not. It's it seems an act of absurd vanity to um, write. There are perfectly serviceable one-volume biographies of <laughs> Alexander the Great and Napoleon, and <laughs> even, <laughs> even Katie Price, I think. <laughs> For some reason, I've, I've managed to stretch mine out uh, like a piece of mucus. But <laughs> it, it has, the first was my childhood, and the second was sort of making it in show business. Yeah. And this is rather dirtier, grimier, muckier years of um, self-indulgence. This so. one's going to sell. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was going to say to you, because, you know, the tabloids have a, a field day with it. Yes. Because it seems, you know, that the odd thing is, you know, here you are working at the, it seems, the height of your powers. You mm. know, your career is going well, like this. What would have happened to your career if you hadn't been doing all those drugs for those years? Well, I don't know. I did always separate them. I never went on a sound stage or on a theatrical stage or on television, or I never wrote with, with a single flake up my nostrils, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or indeed alcohol, uh, because the buzz of work. Uh, indeed, I, my last autobiography was prefaced with a Noel Coward quotation, which is, work is more fun than fun, which is something I profoundly believe. Very frequently, just anyway. in the book, yeah. lots of other things in the book. Yeah. It's full of really funny stories and very good yeah. showbiz anecdotes, mm. and also so many famous people in this book. Can you... I'm a slut, yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah. no, no. Can you quickly tell the people the story of Christmas in Norfolk? Oh, well, I which is amazing. To, I did a line-up for a show once, and uh, uh, it was a, there was a royal presence, and um, the, the Prince of Wales said, um, apparently you live in Norfolk, is it right? <laughs> I said, well, I, I do have a place. It's not, uh, not far from uh, Sandringham, in fact, which is the, where the royal family have a house. And he said, oh, wonderful. I said, you should come visit me for Christmas. Um, he said, that'd be lovely, lovely, lovely idea. Of course, <laughs> I thought no more about it. And that Christmas, I had a real house full of friends, about 14 people, all squeezed together, and, and I'm a very early riser, I'm very much a lark, not an owl, and, I, and so I was up, and I was making eggs benedict, I remember distinctly, and hollandaise sauce is a very, you know, you have to concentrate, you have to get the, the, um, the melted butter into the egg yolk, you have to really thin, steady stream, the phone went, so I was going, somebody answer that! Please, somebody with no, that all the 14 people showering, shagging, whatever they were doing, <laughs> and, and, and nobody was on, so I, oh, I picked up the phone, yes! They went, uh, can I speak to Stephen Fry, please? And I said, uh, yes, this is he. And he said, well, this is Prince of Wales here. And I said, my brain, a little t part of my brain sent a signal to say, oh, fuck off, Rory. <laughs> um, and, and then another part, because you always know when it's someone real, another part just overtook it and went, oh, hello, sir. He said, uh, I was wondering about taking you up for that offer for tea. I, I said, well, that would be wonderful. Uh, when would you like? When's convenient for you? He said, well, what about New Year's Day? So I said, well, that, that would be fine. So I kind of put the phone down and thought, right. So I went into the hall and I shouted, a bit like Rick in, in The Young Ones, house meeting! <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's appeared at the top of stairheads. And I said, the Prince of Wales is coming uh, for tea. And then everybody went, oh, my God. And then there was this fantastic sight, um, which I could have... Um, I mean, I could have photographed, I should have done. Of everybody, Hugh Laurie hoovering the carpet. You know, like, uh, <laughs> so we're all making tea, we're getting ready, everything's, the fire's burning, everything's completely ready. And we're all peeping out of the curtains like pathetic children, like that. And all these cars passing with And then eventually, <laughs> two cars, <laughs> crunch, everybody's disappeared except me. Huh? <laughs> so I, the doorbell goes, and I think, oh, I must play it cool. Otherwise, he'll think I'm really uncool. And so I count to 15, and the bell goes again, and I open it. And he goes, oh, hello, I hope you don't mind. I've brought my wife. And there's Princess Diana comes out of the shadows. And he goes, hello, Stephen. And I go, I, I go hello. And everybody comes down. Um, and we have this tea party, and it's fantastic. And she's wearing cowboy boots, which suits her very well. He's not wearing cow boots, which suits him very well. <laughs> and, um, it all goes fantastically. Everybody's having a great time. Um, and then they go, and he says, thank you, everybody, says goodbye. And she <laughs> holds in the doorway, and she says, I'm sorry we're going, but I'm quite glad we're going early, because it's spitting image on tonight. And I'm going to watch it in my room. They hate it, of course, but <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and that's, that's her. 
Well, it's a great story Thank and you. lots of other great stories yeah, well, uh, in your fine. book, uh, More Fool Me. Uh, we've got to talk about Twitter because you mm. are... you. Mm. I mean, look, you have what? You've got over a million followers mm -hmm. now. Yes. Yeah. Which, yes. So you can't argue with success. I, I, yes, I, I, if you call it success, it's, it's certainly... Yeah, it's people follow me and that's good. Uh, it's not for any purpose. I do have to remind people, it's not called social change or heavy debate. It's called Twitter. <laughs> The clue is in the name. It's, but then, it's... occasionally, it can be a great force, like the, yeah. the, the protests about the elections in Iran or the Jan Moyer absolutely. piece about Stephen Gately. Twitter came into yeah. its own, it seems. That's, that's absolutely right. Um, and it, 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 it has revealed a power and a, uh, and, and a sort of force and, uh, that is, nobody could ever have predicted even six months ago, I don't think. So are you more careful or more thoughtful about the things you put on Twitter now because yeah. the papers do pick up what you say. They do and I, yeah, I, I had a bit of a wobble a few weeks ago and I got, I got rather disenchanted with the whole thing. I mean, I, 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 love, I love the Twinternet as you might call it now. I love the, 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 the online world, you know, the, the set of manners that goes with being online is one that suits me for some reason. It doesn't others but it does me. But there is a downside, it literally is the downside. If you look at someone's blog or you look at a YouTube film or something like that, it's filled with comments. It's for people who have decided to be unutterably mean, unutterably resentful and angry and bitter and insulting and rude. I'm and sorry unkind. about that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that, 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 is the, um, that is the unwanted dead caterpillar in the otherwise lovely salad of yes. the internet. But um, even while you've been in the building, you've been tweeting. I, I did, yes. Because you've been following your tweets. I, oh, my goodness, yeah. I tweeted oh. about your very nice goodie bag that you yes. give us guests. In fact, you've got a picture. If I look at you, I've got a Twitter page up here. Oh, my goodness. Uh, look at that. Da, da, da. That's it. You just click the link, the top oh, link. That one there. That one would do. Oh, there um, go. there, oh, it there is. it is. There's the goodie bag. <laughs> wow. But it looks like a Hessian sack. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, and so you've got a... What, what's this goodie bag? <laughs> Oh, so sad. A lot of it is hair products, Bill. <laughs> and, and the ones that aren't hair products are shaving products. <laughs> no, that's fine. I, you know, I just like to know where I stand. In it is like, oh, my, my, mother, my mother was asking who's on the show, and I said, Stephen Fry, all right. And uh, I said, and, and Bill Bailey. And she went, oh, is that the bald man with the long hair? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Which seems like a contradiction in terms. It does. Yeah. I know, Thank you for that. But it's true. Bless her it's for true. That. And yet. <laughs> yes. In reviews, I get that. I got this great review. That said it was in the Independent. It said Bill Bailey. He looks. His hair hangs down his back like a shower curtain, <laughs> and his head resembles a large egg. <laughs> I said, yeah, this isn't a review. <laughs> this is like biological field notes. <laughs> You can often be seen scuttling at dusk, <laughs> foraging for nuts and berries. <laughs> I'm going to comedy you, nutty. <laughs> so I was blessed for that, thank yeah. you. And now, Twitter, 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 because uh, obviously we know who's going to be on our audience. Oh, yes. So, uh, uh, so we've been following something. Now, how many of you Twitter? Just, uh, uh, oh, wow. Yes. That's quite a few. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, where is uh, Lobster Linguini? Who's that? Lobster Linguini, hello. What's your real name? James. James. It would have been awful if you said lobster. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why do you ask? <laughs> <laughs> no reason. <laughs> now, I have to say, lobster linguini, James. What, funny. They funny. are. People, funny. Are, people are great. Funny. Um, oh, no, I like that. No, actually, I say funny. I retyped the post due to a grammatical error. <laughs> On a side note, I have a conundrum. I have the jumbi. Jembe. 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 drums. Oh, you've got African yeah, drums yeah, at drums. six tomorrow drums. and tickets to Graham Norton. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he missed, you missed your djembe. He missed the African drumming oh, for this. Oh, but then, <laughs> this is, I think this is quite, this is a good joke. If a hob is a male ferret, then what's in hobnobs? I dread to think. <laughs> James. It was it was based on a um, Mark Watson was on Mastermind and he got the question wrong on Hobbs so it was kind of a reply to that but I thought it was a bit yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tweet about that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but that's when it's good yeah that's when yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, who else do I have.
Um, where's Underdog 100? Ooh, Underdog the 100? Lady in the, oh, wow. the orange girl. Oh, hello. Hello. Now, what... I don't know what goes on in your mind. <laughs> it, it just seems to like... This, oh. it's, it's like things just bouncing around quite fast <laughs> in her mind. Yeah. So, this is what's been happening in, in her tree card, right? Uh, is going to watch the Graham Norton show tomorrow. Should be a laugh. Hee hee. 30, <laughs> and then 30, 30 days till Christmas. Looks like a lovely day. What is today going to have in store? It's going to try and make a casserole. This should be fun. <laughs> Big casserole turned out okay. Happy still alive. <laughs> Eating too many jelly tots. <laughs> have an anti-bend day today. How much ironing do I freaking have? Ironing done array. Why have they changed Pringles? <laughs> My kind of Twitter. <laughs> How random it is. <laughs> <laughs> Eating jelly chocolate. <chocolates. Yes. laughs> <laughs> Massive sugar rush. <laughs> and uh, so and uh, Beth and Denro. Beth and Denro. There's Beth and. Hello, Beth. She's wearing a mitten. She, I think that might be attached to her jumper. Oh, oh, yes. oh no. no. It's just a long sleeve. Yes. <laughs> Sweet about that. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, Beth, no, I love Take That. Uh, Why wow, I'm dedicating all my time. John and Edward, go now. Uh, Dame SB and Dizzy, amazing. Did a little tear come out with Rob and the boys reunited? I was in floods. Brillo pads. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Uh, this was to you. She sent this to you, Stephen. Oh, did you? Oh. Are you on Graham Norton this week? I'm watching me film. I will wee in my seat if you're there. <laughs> Yay! Good wee! Oh, <laughs> have you? Oh, darling. Have you wee? But she adds... She adds that it would be a good wee. A good wee? Yeah. Good. Has a little bit come out. My, my, I want to uh, start a new uh, shorthand on Twitter. You know, there's LOL, you yeah. know, and uh, I, I, in my humble opinion, IMHO, FML. And, and FML, PMSL, and all this ROFL rolling on the floor mm. laughing. I want to have a new one, which is ROFL YSST, which is rolling on the floor laughing, yet somehow still typing. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> uh, thank you, all the tweeters. Now, listen. You love gadgets, I know. I do. And uh, very shortly, uh, Caesar Milan, the dog whisperer, oh, yes. here, right? So, uh, happily, we've got a gadget that kind of fits quite well. Because, uh, I swear, you'll see, we didn't make this ourselves. I swear, it looks like maybe we did. We really didn't. A man called Jay in Taiwan. Yes. He lives in Taiwan. He has sent us the prototype of a new gadget, right? Mm. Now... I, it may stay a prototype, maybe it'll go to production and you'll have say, I saw it here first. <laughs> it's called the Mood Tail, right? right? And it allows a human to have a tail like a dog, okay? <laughs> now, um, it, no, I'm not making this up. Um, because he says, basically, evolution means that uh, people have lost yes. uh, their tail. Yeah. So this gives you back your tail. Oh, my God. Um, so, <laughs> Uh, so this is it. <laughs> oh. Now, I need a volunteer. Would you do it, Lady in the Pink? Would you do it? Come on. Yes. Because your top is quite handy. Oh. You step up here now. Step up, step up, step up. Now, we'll just pop that on you. Uh, what's your name, by the way? Sally. Sally, this is Sally. Could, is that going to... Yes, it does. <laughs> there we go, lovely. You're right there. Actually, yes. we could put that over it, and then it'll be more like a tail. There we go, lovely. <laughs> OK. What, you mean? Yes, because tail wearers often wear their blouse no, no. outside the tail. No, no, see, no, see, look, now yeah, it looks no, more like true. a tail. It does, it does. Oh, okay. see, of course. You sound like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna... It doesn't look so weird now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to turn it on. Hang on. There's one bit on, and there's the next bit on. Ooh! <laughs> OK, now, what, oh, I've got my... These are my mood cards, right? So what I do is I'll stand over here. Right? So you've got these little cards, do you see? Yeah. They're, uh, they're sad, oh. Oh, yep. there's happy, there's angry. Let's try happy first. So I do Z to put it into neutral. There we go. And then I put the happy card. If you just lift your arm, put the happy card here. Oh. Isn't that brilliant? <laughs> that's fantastic! Oh. OK, so that's that. I do that. And then, <laughs> are, you, are you feeling a bit depressed now? Are you sure? I think you might be a bit sad. 
った Now, we're staring at your ass and laughing. <laughs> so, maybe you're feeling a bit angry. Uh oh. Oh, it's quivering! Oh, 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 oh. that's quite the. It's quivering! <laughs> oh, that's very good. Isn't it good? It's I love it. Lovely. I'll just make you happy again before we send you off. Can you put it yeah. on the back? Great, can I just try it? Oh, hey. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh. Oh. Or I'll, I'll give you this to you. If thank you walk you up, someone, someone will take it off you. What's your name? Sa Sally. Sally. Thank you very much, Sally, and a happy oh. tail. Oh, wow. Let's go. Is that a brilliant thing? Oh, we didn't make that. It's real. <laughs> oh, dear. But now, uh, the, the love of wildlife continues. Oh. Because uh, last chance to see, mm -hmm. um, which is an amazing thing for yeah. you to get to do and yeah. for us to, to watch, to travel in the world looking at these animals that are about to be no more. Yes, it was an extraordinary opportunity. I mean, it, 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 phew, animals are, are phenomenal. I mean, they really are. And the most phenomenal thing about them, I suppose, for us is, you know, however true it is that we are animals, and it obviously is true, um, there is a vast difference in, in some ways. And, the, and one of the major ones is that we are curious for the sake of curiosity. These programmes are all about our interest in animals. There is obviously no way of absolutely proving it, but I think we can all honestly say we believe that a llama has no interest in a caterpillar. It is not, it doesn't care how many species of caterpillar there are. It doesn't, if you told it there was such a thing as a polar bear, it wouldn't care. <laughs> it's not interesting. Yeah, but you're it not talking, you, you don't speak llama. No. No. <laughs> but I think in the end, the point about animals, what we, what we admire about them is that they just get on with being who they are mm. in, entirely. 100% of their time is spent in being a tree frog or a llama, um, and they don't wish they were anything else. Whereas human, we wish all the time, say, oh, I wish I were, I wish I were a better human being, I wish I was happier. I wish, I wish I had this, I wish I had that. Animals just, just are. They, they, don't, they don't think and agonise about it. And I love your encounter with the, uh, is it the cacapoo or caca... Cacapo, yeah. Cacapo. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's a parrot that... Is this one that you were saying has no fear? It has no fear, yeah. Over millions of years, these birds, nothing ever had any aggressive... Um, no. uh, uh, any attitude to them. There was nothing that was going to eat it. So they just got bigger and fatter and friendlier. And, and, and they just wandered about. And mammals didn't come to the island until the Maoris arrived in, this is an argument about that, but let's say the 13th century or something like that, around the time of Chaucer over here. Um, and the Maoris brought with them dogs and cats as well. And uh, they also found, that here's an interesting and rather tasty bird, uh, we don't have to hunt it, we just have to pick it up and put it in a pot. <laughs> Yeah. And it will season itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have a clip from the show which demonstrates that it has learnt nothing. Because you've got to think, it might have twigged yeah. that, well, oh, actually, let's learn to run fast at yeah. least. Uh, here, here's the kakapoo. A typical male, Sirocco is clearly only interested in one thing. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> God, he's got sharp claws. He's getting a bit frisky. Ow! Ow! You think that he's, a, um, he's actually attempting a sort of mating ritual? <laughs> he is. <laughs> oh, you must. <laughs> you are sure sharp. A... Or not? Ow! God, it's sharp. Look, he's so happy. <laughs> One of the funniest <laughs> things I've ever seen. <laughs> You are being shagged by a rare parrot. You are something new. This is why it's endangered. Yeah. <laughs> if I can't even spot a female parrot. <laughs> you, 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 you own parrots. Yes. You, no, I, I, I do. Yes. How um, many? How many do you have? I've got two, uh, two parrots, um, and uh, a, a Moluccan cockatoo and a Triton cockatoo. There. And you like a cockatoo, don't you? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's even I. <laughs> we were walking down the corridor, and there was a door mark innuendo. And I thought, shall I open it? No, I shan't. 
Perhaps. Oh, hey, was there? There was a you're, just, you're just dotting the I's and crossing the T's. <laughs> you're Malacan. Um, the, I can't say the word now. No. The parrots. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's a known. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were, yeah, rescue birds that we got from a, a rescue centre. We, we, we know, we'd only take on birds that are. That, for, for whom they've already had several owners. And do you exercise your birds? Yes, we do. We, well, in the wild, parrots, um, particularly cockatoos, will forage on the forest floor rather than sort of fly about. And so they love to run and forage in the, in the ground. So we would take them to Richmond Park and put them on harnesses and just walk <laughs> them around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but the dogs don't want to kill your parrots. The, the, uh, the size of their beaks, right? Oh, These right. dogs... There's some sort of evolutionary sort of light bulb going off somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe not. You know? <laughs> I've seen the footage of Stephen, and uh, that bird's going to get on my head in a minute. <laughs> Try and get the wax out of my ear and get off his face. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah.